Okay, welcome to my third video here. Uh, this one's going to focus on uh, the open field type uh, RVR that you find. Um, now the first thing you'll notice, uh, you know, when you're running into the area is you'll get a countdown timer. Uh, it lets you know that you're going to flag for RVR, uh, which basically means keep going and flag or turn around and uh, prevent the flag from coming up. All right, we jump right into a uh, fight here. Um, there, again, like the scenarios, there are some, there are different control points that you can control in the land. Uh, you'll see above the uh, mini map there, there's a bar uh, that indicates who has control over that particular zone. Uh, right now, on the video, it shows destruction having control. Um, the different controls mean that you get different bonuses. You know, if you have control of the land, you get, I think it's like a 5% bonus to XP and something. I don't remember exactly what it is. Um, so, and in a little while, uh, we'll be doing the, um, I'll be going over some of the siege weapons, and then you'll be able to see how those work. So. Enjoy the battle until then. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed some of the action that was going on there. Uh, you see that we're outnumbered pretty bad, so I'm going to get hop back on a cannon here. Uh, hopefully it'll even things out a little bit. You can see some kind of a red area around the, my screen there. That means I'm taking some damage. It's just a residual dot, so there's nothing too bad to worry about. Um, when you first take control of a siege weapon, you have three different options. 
Uh, if I remember right, one is to release, one is to enter sniper mode, and one is to repair. Uh, sniper mode is what I'm in right now. It allows you to actually use the the siege weapon. Um, you see the tar targeting uh, arrows right off the bat. Uh, if you get a uh, basically, if your target is uh, unfriendly or hostile, uh, you get they turn red. If it's a uh, friendly, it turns blue. So uh, unfortunately, there's a flag right in the way, so it makes it a little tougher to see. Uh, they do have a set range, so even if something may be in view, you might not be able to shoot it. Um, However, coming up on the right here, there's going to be some bad guys trying to sneak up on us, so uh, going to get a few shots off on them. And you can see the health bar went down a lot on that one guy, so if, if the bad guys are close enough to uh, get hit, you can rack up some kills pretty quickly. Um, coming up next is going to be another type of siege weapon that the Empire has. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a multi-shot uh, gun instead of just a single-shot cannon. So uh, I think I personally think this one looks pretty cool. Um, again, you take control of it just like normally. Right-click on it, enter sniper mode. Now you can see the uh, HUD is a little bit different. Uh, you got the wi a wind meter on the right, and you have a power meter on the left. Uh, the the power meter will you know obviously change how far or how close you shoot uh, you can see a little red mark on the ground where the the shot is gonna land uh, according to where you have the power set at however it does not take into account the wind so um, you kinda have to take that into account too uh, when you're aiming now you'll see when this shot fires that the shots actually hit the ground the fire on the ground a little ways past because that's the way the wind was blowing You'll see it again on this one. Uh, it'll be a little past and to the left, so um, it kind of adds a little bit more. So it's it's pretty cool, um, but that's a pretty powerful gun. Uh, all right, we're back to the back to the action here again. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind with the uh, who controls the land, uh, that bar above the mini map again. Uh, it doesn't just depend on the open field RVR, uh, it actually takes into account uh, quest, people doing quests, uh, your scenario participation, everything like that. So it's pretty cool, um, you know, that you, you can actually participate in the battle and you don't just have to do it uh, with PvE or with RVR or anything like that. So there's a few different ways you can participate. Um, one, it gives you sound cues as your bar fills up or lessens, um, and if you take control, again, you get that bonus. So uh, we can go a little bit over the the display here. Um, well, actually, before I do that, there are a, a large number of quests in the open RVR area that you can do too. So uh, you can level up pretty quickly between just killing people and. Um, doing the quest, getting the quests done, so, um, there, I died, so, it's kind of, it, it's a little more, the, the RVR is a little more fun than in WoW, you actually seem like you live longer, and you can participate better in the fight itself, so, uh, it's, it's pretty fun, um, now, just a little bit on the heads up display, um, you see in the bottom left corner is where I have a tactic slot. Um, those are just bonuses that you can get. Right now I have one that gives me 5% more XP in RVR. There's other ones you can get. Um, and that's a, that's right up there is the trainer. Uh, you can get diff where you di train different things for your known points. Uh, stat bonuses, tactics. Uh, it's pretty nice and then each one has a has a bracket so once you've trained a certain amount of points in one you can move down so but that's the basics behind open field RVR uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I'll probably be looking at making one for public quests in the future so thank you